Our next entrepreneur tonight is Rachel, who plans to give the sharks an absolute earful. I can do this. My product is fantastic. Everybody is waiting for my product. Bill Gates said he wants to have a computer in every home. I say, I want to have my product in every home. Hi, sharks. My name is Rachel. I'm from Surface Paradise, and I'm here looking for a partner and investment of $350,000 for 25% of return of my business. All right. Ear socks protect you from dye, water, and chemicals running into your ear canals. That's it? That's it. Oh. <laughs> right. We like brevity. That's fabulous. Well, it's fairly simple. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, I love a succinct pitch. That was just fabulous. So you want $350,000 yeah, for 25% of your business, yes. which values it at $1.4 million. Correct. Yep. And you gave us a 30-second pitch. Not yeah. even. Yeah. If we're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, tell us a bit more about the product. Show me the product. How's it work? Um, you got the product next to you, actually. Yeah. If you like to try that. Like this? Yes. Yeah. This is a prophylactic instrument yes. <laughs> for people that have a phobia about getting water down their ear canal. Yeah, exactly. Or fit. chemicals or, or dye around your uh, outer ear. So when you actually go down in the centre, hold it in the centre... This doesn't work. Does it go over the top of your ear? Yeah. It doesn't, if... doesn't fit. When you go on the centre and you hold it there and you pull it on top of it and then include your earlobes, so you, you slide it at the top first, that's it, <laughs> and then and, and, that? and include oh, the earlobe. I've lost it. So how did you, how on earth did you come up with this idea? Tell me. Well... Give me the story behind it. I used to go and dye my hair at the hairdressers and uh, I would get ink on my ears and it was very uncomfortable because the, the hairdresser had to rub that off my ear. Right. And it's embarrassing, it's uncomfortable and it's like, okay. <laughs> And you still walk out with stain on your on your ears. Not good, not good. And no. And then I, I talked to other women and they had the same problem. Rachel, where are you from? Uh, originally from Switzerland. Switzerland? Nice. Yes. And how long have you been in Australia? 17 years. 17? Yes. All right, so we've got a condom type product for your ear, right? Yes. I am so great, it's not funny. So I have to get my hair dyed all the time. Yes. Right? And they just put a little bit of Vaseline on it. Yes. And, you know, and it's yes. no, no problems. Have you checked that anyone's bought any? Has anyone bought any? These are the first products. Oh. Right, so, oh, so it's not for no, 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 so no, you no. haven't... But I couldn't get more. That's, that's the start of it. We're sitting here with the only prototypes. That's right. Anywhere in the world. <laughs> and pretty much the last ones. And that ended up the other end just busted one. I, I put on my ear. It wasn't going to get reused, mate. I'm sorry, <laughs> but... Where'd you get it made? Good question. Um, we had to find the manufacturer and we found one. And that was in China. And I went and I flew to China only to find out that the factory wasn't there. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And then the, um, they said, we can't manufacture your ear socks. <gasps> So, okay, let's write down the steps. So now, make one like this, and he, uh, he made one, and we actually produced one in socks then and there. Well done, good on yeah, you. Good, yeah. good, good tenacity, it's awesome. And I came home with one ear socks. You came home with one. Uh, that's a very <laughs> expensive ear socks. Isn't yes, it? it was very. So what's your plan? Okay, so tell, tell me how you're gonna go from China, because you've obviously got the tenacity, to giving us prototypes, to conquering the world. I'm going to buy a condom machine. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. I want to own a condom machine. I want to own a part of a condom machine. 250 grand. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> but where do you buy a condom machine? From the condom factory. From the condom factory. <laughs> Rachel, how much money have you put into this? 
uh, I would say over eighty thousand dollars. Eighty thousand dollars. Goodness me. Excuse me. A moment of silence, please. For dead money. Oh. Come on. Rachel. Rachel. Eighty thousand yes. dollars of your hard earned. Yes. Really. Yeah. How many do you need to sell to recover your eighty thousand dollars? A metric shit ton. Um. I didn't think so much about recovering my eighty thousand because that was off. That was a lot of it was learning money. Look, I, I'll just if if I invested in this, Rachel, I'd get an earful from my wife and everybody else. So <laughs> you can protect your ear. I'm though. really sorry. I, I, look, I wish you well, but don't spend any more money on this until you've got paying customers. I'm out. Thank you. Rachel, Rachel. Steve. Um, I, I really admire the tenacity you show by going to China. I'm with Andy here. $80,000 is dead. I don't think anyone should chase it with $350,000. I always hope I'm wrong. I'm out. You didn't want him anyway. <laughs> oh, I like the idea. You think there is a definite problem you've, you've had to solve. 100%. And, and, and you know, I, I just don't know if people need it or not, but because I don't get my hair coloured. <laughs> 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 much. <coughs> much. <laughs> well, especially men, they actually don't want to show that they colour their hair. That's true. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there is an obvious problem you're solving. Oh. Um, th look, quite simply, um, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine in Brisbane. He's one of the leading wholesaler products for hair salons across Queensland. He has a whole bunch of hair salons. So I'm going to support your journey by making that introduction, but I'm not going to support your journey with any of my hard-earned cash. So today, I'm out. Thank you. I would love to introduce you to the folks at NAC, an Australian fabulous brand of hair products, and see if it would be a promotional item for them. But for this investment, I'm out. Thank you. Rachel, I don't think you've wasted your $80,000. And the reason I don't believe you have is because you've used that $80,000 to teach you about business. So it's not money down the tube. At least you've got to start. Yeah. And quite often the shame of it when people do businesses and fail is they never keep going. But you'll get there. Yes. yes so exactly. good luck, but I'm out. Thanks, Rachel. Thank well you done. all so much for this opportunity. Now, we will get yeah. this back. Oh, don't take these. There's only five left. <laughs> no, you can have them. No, oh, no, 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 no. You no. must take them. Yeah. You need Come and them. take them. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Thank you. Steve's just going to break them, so thanks, Rachel. No. no that's right. Thank you, you need so all your samples thank back. Thank you so much. Well done. I'll leave the broken one here. Oh. Rachel, thank, thank you so much. Much. All the best. Thank See you, Rachel. Thanks, Rachel. Bye. Yes. Wow. <laughs> well, she's well, I'm happy. glad she was happy. Anyway, someone may give her a reality check or <laughs> see something in this. Oh, who knows? I'm very excited to what is coming because I'm not stopping. So, ear socks, here we come. <laughs> Next, the tank is being taken over by a couple of radio renegades with a big dream. We're about to give up our day jobs, our radio jobs, and become millionaires because we've got an idea that we think the sharks are going to love. We've been developing this idea for a long time now. But we're going full on in here, and we'll probably strip them all of millions. Here we go. Cash time. Fantastic. <laughs> here we go. Steve, lovely fun, to meet you. Yeah, Fantastic. likewise. Mate. Flat white with a stevia, is that Thank right? you very That's much. Your, That's your it. sweetener. Yeah, it's course, that is a long, long black coffee Thank for you. Thank you very much. Oh, mate, thanks. And Andrew, just a latte for you. Oh, just oh, a latte. Thank, Thank you very much. Here. Hi, guys. We're Fitzy and Whipper. And today we're looking for a $300,000 investment for 5% of our business. Because we believe that we've found an easy, cost-effective and lucrative solution to a problem that's affecting nearly half of all Australia. Just under half, guys, 46%. Yeah. And fortunately, it's See. just on the eastern seaboard, yeah. but it's slowly making its way over. What were your names again? Uh, I'm Whipper, and this is Fitz. And I'm They've got on T-shirts. They've got T-shirts. Whip oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You have your own radio show, don't you? If you could just sit yeah. back and listen, thanks, Andrew. That problem affecting nearly half of Australia is death breath. 
In Breakfast Radio, Andrew, it's one of the most dangerous parts to our job, and it's a silent friendship killer. And that's why we've decided to come up with a brand new uh, concept. It's called The Mup. Tell them about it, mate. OK, The Mup. Can you do me a favour, and those coffees that we kindly donated to you guys as we walked in, if you could actually lift them up and look on the bottom of the cup, there's a little tab there. If you can pull them off, you will find the solution to death breath. You will find a mint. Basically, the pitch is a cup, a mint, a mint, a cup, a mup. Ta-da! <laughs> I know you guys like numbers. I can tell you this much. Cafes sell around a million coffee cups every day. Mm. If we're able to get 10% of that, right, you're looking at 100,000 people that we'll be saving and the people that they interact with with horrible breath. Yep. Isn't it the worst thing in the world? And at five cents a cup, God, the numbers are simple. It's a million dollars. Yep, it's two million dollars. It's two million dollars. So we've, doub we've doubled our <laughs> revenue already. <laughs> and there's only sort of one more display we want to show you guys, and that's let's get rich together. Yep. Am I right? Oh, nice. yeah. 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 Oh, we're oh, Do you want oh, to meet okay. them up? Who wants to meet them up? Meet them up. Yes. 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 Here he comes, oh, Everton. Oh, oh, oh. Everyone, of course, <laughs> needs a novelty that? mop. Yeah. Right, so bring it <laughs> over here. I like big mops and I cannot lie. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, mate. Oh, what oh, oh, hey. Hey. Hey, look at that. And there you go, demonstrated on a life-size version. So I'll just... Fitzy and Whipper, uh, I'm Steve. G'day, how you going? Hi, Steve. Hi. Whereabouts are you guys from? Uh, we're from a radio station called Nova. Your request is for $300,000. What are you going to do with it? <laughs> Go on, in the business. Oh, in the business. Oh, in the business. Oh, right. Oh, Just oh. more of these. Like, how good's this? Get four more of them. I love you guys, and I definitely think I could work with you. I have no idea where we'll go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make you an offer of 500000 for 5%. Awesome. Wow. Look, this is a no-brainer. The offer is... 500,000 for 5%. So 500,000 for 5%. Five, 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 Do I hear any other offers? Do I, any other offers? Any other sharks want to make an offer? Naomi. Lady in red mm. is oh, dancing darling. with me. I'm going to match Janine's offer. What? Of $500,000. But I'm only going to take 2.5%. Sure, we're making this. <laughs> no, 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 sorry. Just keep it cool if you can. Sorry. Those, those, those offers are ridiculous. Mate, if you just would like to maybe go for a bit of a break. Steve, Steve can we get Steve's been on the floor please? too long, I think. I've been disappointed by the approach these guys have taken. I think they've come in undercooked, underprepared, haven't answered the questions today. Uh, and to be honest, because of that, I'm out. Glenn, you've got heaps I'd of I'd sell cash, a couple man. of pet farms if I was you. So would I. I like your idea. I'm suspicious about you two, that's all. So I need to put some money on the table that's going to get you to think about disappearing early. So you're just basically buying us off? Correct. Make All it right. rain. What, what's what you your got? offer then, mate? Well, 300k for, th for 100%. Oh, whoa. Oh, we're going to have to talk about this. Do you want to go in the tunnel and have a chat just to think about it? Oh, go OK, season. one moment. Thanks for your patience. Do you know what? I think they're, a bit, I think they're all a bit amateur. Let's not go with any of them. 500,000 for 5%. You're dead right. We're getting ripped off. Yep. They're playing us for a fool. Okay, I didn't come here to look stupid. All right, let's, let's get back in there. Hey, guys, decision time. First of all, um, we would just like to thank you guys. With some fantastic generosity shown and a great understanding of your business knowledge, uh, which we appreciate. Um, and we're humbled by some of the offers that you've thrown at us. And our decision today is we're going to knock all yours back and, and wait for that phone call from Google or Facebook. Uh, this is a billion dollar idea. And just before we go as well, I know we're all mates here now, become very close. If we hear that any of you guys are going to try to steal this idea, we will come down hard. Have a look at it real it's hard. It's huge. Idea. Understand? This does not leave the room. Yep. I'm a little offended. Well, right. unfortunately, that's correct. business, isn't it? Appreciate your wave, um, wave map. Appreciate Thanks, your guys. Right, see you. Thanks anyway, guys. Thanks, Fitzy. Thank you. Boys, wow, that was a that 
That was a, a big knockback. Three big offers. Why did you knock them Three back? Three big offers to you. Three big offers to the average man. When you have a billion dollar idea, you don't take the piddly stuff. You don't take the little deals, right? We need Top Shelf. We need the big, big deals. And we've already got two big deals. Mm -hmm. Fitzy and Whipper. Put a price on that. Next into the tank is Laurie, who's staking her business future on catching the sharks in a friendly mood. I do have a potty mouth. Hopefully that will make me a pot of gold. And hopefully they'll like my products. We're inappropriate, so not everyone's going to like our products. I hope they have a sense of humour, because if they don't, it's going to be a disaster. Hello Sharks, my name's Laurie and I'm the founder and owner of the Inappropriate Gift Co. I'm here today seeking a $100,000 investment in exchange for 10% equity in the business. The Inappropriate Gift Co. solves the problem of where to go if you're looking for a unique gift for a friend or family member with a cheeky and inappropriate sense of humour. <laughs> and we bring you a one-stop shop, a curated online store specialising in inappropriate gifts. We source our gifts from a range of Australian and international suppliers, as well as create our own product range that you won't find anywhere else. The idea for the Gift Co came after a particularly stressful week at work as an HR manager. <laughs> and I thought there must be more fun to life than this. <laughs> so on the 1st of November 2016, I launched my very first basic website with 10 products. Since then, we have sold over 23,600 products to over 9,600 customers across 36 different countries. Mm. Revenue to date has been $470,000. Wow, impressive. The Inappropriate Gift Co is at the perfect stage to scale up. And we are looking for your investment as well as your expertise to help us reach our big, hairy, audacious goal, which is to be the global home of inappropriate gifts. Like it. <laughs> so, sharks, who wants to be inappropriate with me? <laughs> oh. oh, my God. <laughs> that's what I think it is. It's yeah. whiskey. Yeah, there you go. Whiskey in a bag. Laurie, that's fantastic. <laughs> I'll give you all a goodie bag as well. Oh, I've got thank a goodie you. bag. Yeah. OK, so, what do we got? I hope you have a sense of humour, sharks. You're about to find out. We're about to find out. Don't piss me off. I'm skilled at neutering. Very good. Spot on. <laughs> Everyone knows Naomi. She is usually effing fabulous. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I sit next to an idiot. <laughs> what is your say? What have I got? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I, I didn't get one. Bath. No, I didn't get one. Oh. No, I didn't get one. Oh, he's lying. He's so lying. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> well done, Laura. Well done. Good job. You're looking for an investment of $100,000 for 10% valuing your business at a million dollars. Yes. And so when did you step full time into this business? I finished work as an HR manager in November 2017. I've got a, um, a great partner called Budget Ben. I love him to pieces. And he said, honey, you can do whatever you want as long as you bring home net the same amount of money as you're making in your HR job. And so, just quickly, looking at the numbers, $470,000 in 15 months is spectacular for a starting business. Thank well you. done. Thank you. What is the net on that? So, I work on a um, gross margin of 40% and a net margin of 30%. Essentially, you're making before you pay yourself about 150 grand a year. Yes. Okay, cool. What's, what's in your gross margins? Do you, do you include customer acquisition in your gross? Expenses? No, I haven't actually looked at my customer acquisition rate yet because I haven't done any. I suppose, advertising, paid advertising. So it's all been organic You've through... done no paid advertising? No, it's been organic wow. through my You've social media. You've done 470k media. in 15 months of no paid advertising. Yes. One of my um, posts on social media went um, global, so it hit nearly 9 million views. What was it? I just posted one of my mugs. The mug was, I'm not feeling very talky today, and then there was um, some swear words after that. Well, come on, give us a hit at both barrels. Give us. A... Okay, I'm not feeling very talky today. Off you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds nice. Do they come in a set? <laughs> <laughs> I need, I need four. No, I think for the first time in four years, has been genuinely funny. Fantastic. <laughs> 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 um, how do you achieve your big, hairy, audacious goal? 
Sure. So our um, plans, we're on track regardless of, um, of, of this to reach $1 million worth of sales at the end of this year. And then 2019 is 3 million, and then 2020, 20. So we want 20 million okay. in the year 2020. 2020, 20. I like that. That's fantastic. Um, and in order to do that, we will need North America, um, as well as the UK. All of you have taken a business this size and scaled it up nationally, internationally, and probably most importantly, profitably. We will do it, but we will do it a lot quicker and a lot smarter and probably lose a lot less money doing it with any of your help. So Laurie, you're a no-brainer. Any one of us could invest in you, get our money back. I see that. You're organised, you're buttoned down, and I'm sure you'd be delighted to work with, not to mention a little amusing at times. Thank you. OK, who's in? So, so Laurie, I'm, I'm in. Uh, I'll go the 100K for 20%. 100 k 18%. 100 k 15%. <laughs> well, I was going to be a lot harsher than that, so I'm going to actually bow out, because I, I know where you're going is going to be a hard journey. You're going to burn some serious cash as you scale up, but you have to. Uh, good luck. I'm out. Thanks, Lee. I know the road head ahead for you, and you need way more than $100,000 to do that in terms of really the scale. So the deal that I'm going to suggest to you is $100,000 for 15%, but then another $100,000 for another 10% if we deliver to you and double the size of your business inside of 12 months. So let me summarise, Laurie. Steve's offered you 20% for your 100,000. Janine, 18%. I've offered you 15%. And Naomi's offering you the 100,000 for the 15%, but she's also offering another 100,000 in finance capital. I've got 100 for 12 and a half percent. Are you on Amazon? No. I'm back in. I'm going to match Steve, 100K for 12 and a half percent, because I'll introduce you to the Amazon guys. OK, what are you going to do? Laurie's online business, the Inappropriate Gift Co, has sparked a feeding frenzy in the tank, with all five sharks wanting in. OK, what are you going to do? Can I talk to my husband? Oh, he's here. You is want he? to bring him out just to bring stir him, him up a bit? Don't sure. talk to your husband. Budget sure. Ben. Budget Ben. <laughs> Come on, Budget Ben, bring him out. All right, go talk to your husband. Thank you. Let's have a look at this stuff. How'd you go? I got deals from all five of them. <sighs> <laughs> I've got to choose which one. All right, OK. Give so, me a I've got Naomi at 100,000 for 15%, and then um, she will bring an extra 100,000. Andrew? 15% for 100 grand. Okay, that's good, that's good. Um, Glenn is 12.5% and so is Steve and Janine is 18%, so... All for 100 grand, so 18 Yeah. Grand, okay. Yeah. All right. I love all of them. Yeah. Um, but let's go. Okay. Let's do a deal. You're cooked by your cooked budget pen, by the way. Okay. This is Ben. Hello, Hello Budget Ben. Hey, ben. Budget Ben. Tank. Budget Thank you. Ben. Fantastic. Budget Ben. That's it. <laughs> Someone has to be. <laughs> That's good. So you must be very really proud of her. I am very extremely proud. She She's done fantastic. an amazing She's... job here today. We have a lot of people stand there. They don't know what they're talking about. They don't have their numbers. There's too much ego, not enough drive. Yeah. She's got it all, you know. You've you got the right yeah. partner. Laurie, I've decided to make my deal easier. Oh. And just offer two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for twenty-five percent in one up because you're going to need the money. So you've got to enjoy the journey as much as the results. You enjoy the journey more with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> Naomi, I would love to work with you. Oh! Yeah. Oh, my God.
<laughs> some things, some things come and go. Well, well done, Laurie. Good job. Yeah, well she only ever had eyes for me. Just pointing out. Look, Have a drink. Have a drink on us. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Thank you, that was so much fun. Thanks for the gift. Well done. Well done. Hey, well done. Really well done. Well done. Mm. Damn! Damn! No, no. You know what? She wore red for red. She, she, she picked values. She, she picked wanted values. Naomi. Yeah. We had no hope. That was That's fantastic. Awesome. That was brilliant. Loved every minute of that. Uh, wanted Naomi because it's an obvious choice. You know, she's in yeah. the gifting business. I'm so happy. Next to Brave the Sharks. An entrepreneur who could be from another planet. Hi, Sharks. My name is Luke Wilson. I'm from Townsville, and I'm better known as Captain Active. Now, I'm asking today for $50,000 investment for a 20% share in the future Captain Active empire. Our world has a big, big problem. So. I've come all the way from Active Land, past the Milky Way, to planet Earth to show kids and families how much fun they can have being active, eating <laughs> awesome, yummy, active foods, and going on outdoor adventures together. Now, all the games that Captain Active shows kids and families how to play are heaps and heaps and heaps of fun. None more so than Bottom Shuffle. Sharks, who wants to play Bottom Shuffle with me? All you need is a <laughs> pair of pants and be keen to have a bit of a laugh. Come on, who's up for a game of bottom shuffle? Who's there with me? Come on. Okay. Excellent, Andrew. <laughs> okay. Right here. Grab a seat on the edge there, mate. Grab a seat on Sitting the edge. Sitting down on the carpet. Oh, on the right carpet. Right here, like this. <laughs> oh, God. OK. Feet out in front of you. Yeah. Now, <laughs> you've got to move your bottom. Yeah. We're going that way first. OK. OK, can't bend your legs. Keep your hands off the ground. You've got to shuffle on your bottom. Keep the hands off the ground. We're going this like way. This. Ready? On your mark. Get yeah. set. Go. Bottom shuffle. Bottom shuffle. Bottom shuffle. Go back this way. Bottom shuffle. Bottom shuffle. Bottom shuffle. Come on. Backwards. Go backwards. Bottom shuffle. Bottom shuffle. Forwards. Bottom shuffle. Bottom shuffle. Yeah. I got it. Awesome. Nice one. Oh, great game. Wow. OK, now, how is this a business? Well, mm. I've got four volumes of awesome active DVDs three self-published children's books, we've got Captain Active sporting equipment and Captain Active apparel. <laughs> also, I've got a 10-week online health and fitness program. And I've developed a proposal to create a children's TV show, obviously based around Captain Active. And I go to schools and kindies and local events. So sharks, it's up to you. Who's gonna be an awesome active shark? And be active just like Captain Active. Ooh. Well done, well done, hey, Captain well done. Active. Well, 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 <laughs> Thank you. You can take your hood off, I think. So I we can, can take see. my hood off? <laughs> yeah. Right, so we, we may see. need to blow this out because our kids don't normally see my face. All right, okay, <laughs> okay, Clark Kent. Oh, there we there go. There you go. So Luke's looking for $50,000 for 20%, right? <laughs> What are your sales like? Yeah, not a huge amount at this point, honestly, yeah. uh, because I'm still early in the what? piece. So how much? Grand, grand, how much? About five thousand. Five thousand dollars. In total sales at this okay. point. Okay. How do you get your work at the moment? How do you find customers? Social media has been a lot of it, and word of mouth. I haven't been able to put a lot of money into marketing, and that's where I see, I guess, the investment. And uh, if, if, if possible, with, with yourselves, I can see trying to show people on a bigger scale what Captain Active is, because I know it works. I just need to let people know. How scalable is your business? Because there's one of you. Yes. Could there be many Captain Actives? Not, you know, I know there's only one Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> there is that, there is that. But Santa Claus has a lot of helpers. He, he does. does. So Captain yeah. Active could certainly, down the track, uh, have helpers in, in different areas. You valued your business at $250,000. Yes. Uh, I'll say that slowly, that's a quarter of a million dollars. Yes. How did you arrive at that number? Yeah, yeah, no, good call. <laughs> uh, oh, and obviously... <laughs> was, that, was it one of those? I, I possibly expected that oh, to pop up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so I'm looking at it from a perspective that it's, it's new and I see the potential. John, you've been quiet. Luke, great presentation. I don't think you have a business, to be honest. 
Um, I think the only chance of making this into a serious business is getting that TV show. Yes. And then yes. licensing products. Yep, I agree. If you could do those two things, I mean, look at the Wiggles. They are the mm. absolute <laughs> ideal outcome for someone like you. So I would head down that direction. Yes. But I don't think you need investors for that. So for that reason, I'm out. Good as gold. Thanks, John. Uh, Luke, ca sorry, Captain, excuse me, Captain Active. <laughs> I got um, my masks off. And you are just, you know, bottled energy, it's fantastic. It's not something I, I, I would know how to contribute to, and, and I'm, I'm going to bow out now, mate. So good luck, and I really wish you all the best. Yeah, thanks, Steve. No, no, I understand that. I, I think you're you're amazing. I really want one of those suits because I've been working out for a long time and I just <laughs> I can't get close to that. And you know the world is full of people who are tiptoeing through life towards death, which is really sad. You are definitely not. You're mm -hmm. a piece of work, <laughs> and uh, and I wish you a hell of a lot of luck. I don't think it's uh, in this particular business for me at the moment, so I'm out. That's fine. Yeah. No. Thanks, Andrew. So, Luke? So, Naomi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you love to have fun and make people happy. I do. You do. <laughs> you do. You, you get it. I actually thought, maybe this could be a red balloon experience. Yep. But you're not red, mate. You're in the wrong <laughs> colour. <laughs> so, um, at this point, I'm out. OK, that's fine. Thanks, Naomi. <sighs> hey, Janine. I disagree with John. It is a business. It's just an early business. So for that reason, I'm out. That is as good as gold. Thanks, Janine. Thank Pleasure. you. Well, thank you, everyone. I appreciate your time. Thanks, Captain. I will see you later. I better yeah, mask right. back on. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Go for it. Yay! Yay! Be active. Watch the door. Watch the door. <laughs> I'm exhausted. That one, that one, well, you didn't do the bottom <laughs> shuffle. How would you like that? I, I'm going to be bruised for weeks. <laughs> Next into the tank is Elisa, who's designed a bag that she thinks will pack a punch for every woman of a certain age. I believe my product is absolutely awesome. There's nothing else out there like it. Hello, sharks. My name's Elisa Scott, and I'm the tea lady. And this is my creation, menopause tea, hot flash tea. Each tea bag consists of five recommended herbs for menopause. They are black cohosh, wild yam, withalanian Indian ginseng, skull cap, and red clover. Best consumed 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. by seven days a week. There's 10 individual tea bags in a box, and you can use them twice. It comes in an Egyptian-style tea bag, which is nice and private for women that work in a male-dominated area. I've got a testimonial from Tracy that I'd like to share with you. Can't recommend this tea highly enough. I was hot flushing for 12 months, came across the tea, drank it twice a day, and on the fifth day, it stopped. It cost me $4.44 to make. I sell it on the internet for $20 plus $3.50 postage, $35 for overseas purchases, and sell it to IGA and Food Works for $6.99. They sell it for $9.99. So, Sharks, I'm seeking investment of $20,000 for 10% stake in my business. This will be used for distribution as I've just signed the contracts for IGA and Food Works Australia wide. I hope you can see potential in this investment so we can saturate the world one tea bag at a time. <laughs> oh. Oh. Thank you. I think that takes the record for the fastest pitch on Shark Tank. Well done. You are on a roll. Can you start that whole thing again? Because I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta slow it out. I'm going all the way, guys. Yeah. World domination for women, so they've got a natural alternative in a chemically <laughs> driven world. I love it. I love it. Love the enthusiasm. So we better try your tea then, haven't we? I would love you to try my tea. It's just like a herbal tea. Yes, yes. So where did the idea come from? This came for a dream. Oh, keep telling us this. What dream was that? I was like, wow, how awesome would it be to bring out a tea bag mm. for a woman with the five herbs for menopause? And that's what I, the dream told me to do. I went to the laptop, and this is the dream. Why, why can't right, men drink it? It tastes all right. What, what will it do for me? 
Well, a lot of women have been giving their cranky husbands a cup of tea. <laughs> oh, look at me. <laughs> Can you put it in a beer bottle? He'll never notice the difference. <laughs> <laughs> So what are your sales to date? OK, so I've sold 846 boxes. I've made $10,275, and it cost me $6,754 to make, so the profit's $3,521. <laughs> this woman has clearly run a business before. Oh, well, she likes numbers, that's for sure. Yeah. I like that. That's good. That's a good indicator. What sort of forecast are you looking at? OK, the future is year one. I project uh, 82,000. Second year is 1.2 million. And All the right, third right, year right. is 2.8. And that's projected on increased number of stores by 33%. And that's just IGA and food works. That's not the world domination as well. And Steve, IT is one of my weaknesses. And to get the sales generated where the biggest markup is on the internet, you have the knowledge. And you know what? I want to be someone's success story here. Right. So you've just done 10K to 82K. I think it's fantastic. It shows really good growth. To $1.2 million is you need to have some of your own tea. How do you know this actually works? It hasn't been scientifically tested. However, the five recommended herbs that are in each tea bag have been around for centuries. And the testimonials on my website that I'm getting from women worldwide are just brilliant. I'm so happy. Yeah. So the claim from that testimonial you read out from Tracy, yes. are you claiming after five days she's cured of whatever symptoms? Yes. I'm really disturbed about your lack of science in all of this. If you'd said to me, this is supporting the symptoms, I could have gone along with the, the, the fairy tale. Um, I can only go with what the feedback is on the sales. I know that. They're testimonials. Get Doctor. some science behind your product. OK, that's fair enough. And I like the way you speak, which is nice and blunt and straightforward. But the cure in five days, I'm just sitting here being really nice before I carve you up for making okay. claims on national TV about a product that I yeah. think is a complete and utter waste of time. And you're making claims that are bullshit. You're not giving me any facts other than a bunch of testimonials that were probably friends of yours that wrote them. So, unfortunately, oh, I'm out. Why can't you say I'm that, out. Glenn? They're not my friends. I'm you're so out. cute. That's all right. <laughs> you acknowledge Chinese medicine. It's 4,000 years of history. Yes, exactly. And we all know that Chinese medicine has huge merit. Look, good on you. You've, you've you. seen an opportunity. I mean, I, I agree. There's half a million Australian women who clearly have a challenge with menopause. Uh, I think the caution about not making claims is a wise one, and it's really about brand and getting out there. It's just very early for me, and it's, it's kind of a bit niche. But I'm out. Thank you, Andrew. 50% of the population's not niche. Women who, who are going through menopause do become really quite desperate. Oh, they remember their old selves, they want to be in their future self. They end up grumpy. Sleepless nights. Irrational. I've had husbands call me saying thank they you for my wife They get really back. upset when I get interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. I don't know where she is. <laughs> All right, just, uh, just let her go. Just and let her for go. women in leadership positions in boardrooms and so forth, it can be really quite debilitating. My concern is about the promise. These are individual claims yes. rather than a scientific, broad-based research study. We actually don't know. Like, you don't know whether it's caused this. So for that reason, I'm out. Thank you so much for being so nice. Thank you. If this product truly does what you say it is, you will be a billionaire. Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. So I'm going to make you an offer. So, Lisa, what, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm taking an option on your success. It's a straight financial. I'm going to toss your coin, and hopefully, hopefully we'll have two and a half of those coins come back in two years' time. So I'll invest the 20000 bucks right now for 30%. And I need, inside of two years, a $50,000 return. Lisa, um, I'm going to make you an offer. Thank you, Janine. Good. 
I'm a firm believer that people should use food as medicine more than medicine. My offer is subject to you doing research on 300 people. Yes, awesome. And the results of that research. So my offer is, I'll give you the 20 grand, but 10% is not enough. So it'll be $20,000 for 20%. Would you like to join together? Um. But are you good friends with Janine? It's not about friendship. It's actually not about friendship. It's not about friendship at all. It's about who you can trust. Um. <laughs> <laughs> What are you going to do? Steve, I had visions of you and I together for the internet. <laughs> but you only want to do a financial investment. I want you to sit back and watch Janine and I ride off to the universe for women. There you go. Worldwide. Hey, <laughs> well done. Thanks, Ellie. Well yeah, thank you. It's so nice to meet you. You too. Exciting. Also, <laughs> thank you. Your yeah. power. Exactly. Hey. Yes, but. I'm really thrilled and thank you so much for having me. This has been a dream come true. Woohoo! Oh yeah.